Thursday the 19th, February 2009, London, England. This is Psalm number one. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Amen. Oh, that's Psalm number one. And then in Jeremiah, which I just lost, but I should be able to find it again, chapter 17. They're the same words. <clears throat> but blessed is the man, or similar, who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Amen. Well, both of those passages are beautiful. It's the same thought, same idea. I've also got my lovely little cross. <laughs> so I'm blessed. I've made it all strong. I just put in a little match here and the cross piece. But it, it's, you know, it's a port. It's a travelling one because it's demountable. <laughs> just little bits of handwood. Someone carved it for me because they saw me as the pilgrim I am. Sweet of it. <laughs> well, ain't got no money, honey. This Pilgrim George fellow camps off in the bush. I don't like doing that. I'm afraid I like four walls about me. They don't have to be grand. And I've had this period in my life. I've been on a pilgrimage, but I've always had enough money to get a room somewhere. Very rarely have I been given a, a free room, if ever, quite frankly. I have never been welcomed into anyone's home as a Christian. And well, once, actually, only in Human's Dorp in South Africa. But in all my travels, in all these years, it just doesn't happen. So where all these Christians are, I've no idea. <laughs> yes, it's quite a thing to take a complete stranger into your own home. But in the roles reversed, this Pilgrim George, I could see him a mile off. He also dresses in denim, you know, and I, of course, immediately invited him in. Just bang. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I had to invite him, you know, I couldn't do anything else. You know, I wanted to hear what he had to say and all the rest of it. And in that same way, in all my travels around the world, only one family has ever invited me in, in that way. I don't know what that says about the world, not a lot. Anyway, tutty bye. It's growing on me. I don't, I'm very wary about things, but this little travelling cross will stay with me. I have always got my candle lit, if I can. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength. I love you. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs>